Name is Rome. R -O yeah, Rome. I'm from right here. It's my hometown, Daly City. We're here at the Cow Palace. And this is my uh, 64 Chevy Impala Super Sport convertible. Had this about a little bit over 30 years. So just, you know, obviously it didn't look like this. I took a lot of time, love, and back then there wasn't no, that many catalogs you could pick, uh, get parts from. So a lot of stuff is used from getting going to the junkyard and stuff like that, where you still could find Impalas in the junkyard. And it took a minute to get it like here, but I'm not done, but it's a driver. That's all I need. What else are you trying to do to it? Just clean it up. You know, maybe get some uh, new moldings along the way. You know, freshen up the moldings, things like that. It needs a little, little extra love. Paint jobs like tw a little bit over 20 years, so might be due for another one. It's really clean for 20 year paint, to be honest with you, especially on black, man. Hey, I call it 2020, man. 20 feet away, 20 miles an hour, looks good. <laughs> oh man. So why this car? I was looking for a convertible at the time, and this was before all the computer stuff. And the guy was cruising, had a for sale sign, followed him, got the number, picked it up. You don't mind me asking you, when you first bought it, how much you pay for it? Uh, when, I, when I got this, it was 3,500 bucks. 3,500 bucks, man. But it, didn't, but it didn't look nowhere near this. It, need, it still needed some love. You got any juice in this one? That's airbag. I airbagged it. I did all the work myself, body and paint and the air suspension. I like learning about stuff like that. My trade is paint. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Body man too, or use the paint? Well, if you can use it, you can paint, you can do body work. Yeah, I, I, I know it's a lot of painters that they just like to spray. They don't like doing body work, that's why I was asking. Well, I'm, from, I'm from the old school, man. The old school, we did it all. Uh, what's under the hood? It's a 283 stock motor. According to the uh, original owner, not the original, the owner I bought it from, he said it's a numbers matching car. I don't know, I never confirmed it or denied it or whatever. Do you think we can check out the hood? It's ugly, man, it's dirty. If you wanna do it, I'll do it, but it's dirty. It's not pretty. I didn't clean it. Four wheel disc brakes. Man, don't get too close, man. <laughs> no, man, I like it, I like it. So, do you, uh, are you with any uh, clubs or are you a solo rider? Solo. Solo rider? Yeah. Do you, you cruise a lot? Not as often as I'd like. Um, you know, I'm here because this is, you know, hometown. It's right over the hill from me, so it's easy. So, you know, I'm building a truck now, so a lot of time's been spent on that. What kind of truck you building? Uh, 64 C10, short bed, big window. So you Chevy guy? Uh, kind, yeah, I'm an everything guy. I got a, I got a 57 VW too. Really? Man. So whatever's cool, whatever's nice, whatever I can build up, I'll do it. Hell yeah. Man, again, uh, Dallas City, California. Uh, first time over here, man, and uh, to be honest with y'all, I like uh, man, a lot of friendly people, man. Uh, I, was, I wasn't sure what I was gonna be expecting, and uh, man, I like it, I like the vibe. Uh, I would love to bring uh, one of my rides. Uh, hopefully, Glass House will bring the 75, but uh, man, again, can't can compare to the rides in Houston, man. It's just, it's just a different feeling, it's just a different feeling. And uh, I'm glad we got here. I'm glad we're here checking out these rides. And uh, 
Hopefully we get some more, man. Well, sir, thank you for your time. Thank you for letting me uh, check out your ride. No worries, man, my pleasure. Enjoy your time out here.